What's going on, YouTube? My name is SkillD7, but you already knew that. Today, I just want to talk about something real quick. Xbox, Microsoft, they've made another big decision to further improve the already fucked up reputation that they have successfully achieved with the horrendous reveal of the Xbox One. Microsoft, all of a sudden, is now pro indie developer. Let me explain what this means. Okay. Sony from day one has always been pro indie developer. Sony announced with the PS4 day one that indie developers will be able to publish their games. Meaning the PlayStation 4 library is gonna be fucking ridiculous. Why? Because Sony wants you to play games. Sony wants more games on the console, and Sony is pro gamer. Us, you. Indie developers make games like Guacamelee and, and all these fucking games that you pay five, ten bucks for on PSN and Xbox Live. All these games that give you great fun for small, small amounts of cash. People trying to get their names out there in the video game world. People looking to join bigger and better fucking um, development teams. Indie games have always been very popular on the PC and still are popular on the PC. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with allowing indie developers to publish their games on the fucking console. Microsoft was all like, nah, fuck you guys. Fuck indie developers. You're only gonna play you're only gonna play what we tell you to play. We don't like indie games. Which is funny because Microsoft it makes a killing on Xbox 360 with indie games in the Xbox Arcade. So it kinda mind fucks the shit out of me as to why they're all like no with the Xbox One. It's bullshit. So now all of a sudden, you know, alongside the removal of DRM they're all like, nah, you know what, we changed our minds. Yeah, indie developers, they can definitely, you know, you know, de develop, you know, their games on the Xbox One and publish them. Yeah, every Xbox One can be used to fucking develop indie games and they can publish them. Yeah, we're so pro-gamer. No the fuck you're not. You fucking idiots fucked up when you revealed the Xbox One because it was got it was a goddamn ESPN TV, basically. And, hold on. Saluti. That Puerto Rican shit. Oh man, good as hell. You're not pro gamer at all. You make mistakes, and then you follow in the footsteps of those, aka Sony, that make the right decisions in an attempt to clean off and start, a, you know, start a fresh slate. It doesn't work like that because you've already pissed people off. Nobody cares that you're letting indie developers and there's no DR and bullshit because you did it before. And there's no telling when you just, you can just patch the DRM bullshit back, back into the fucking Xbox. And out of nowhere, you can make it so, oh yeah, we said indie developers can, you know, publish their games on a console, but we get a major cut. We get 70% of all, you know, all the money they make. So whenever they buy a game for 10 bucks, we get seven, new developer gets three. We're so pro gamer. No. No, 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 no. It's fucking gay, okay? It's good that you're allowing indie developers to develop the games, but I know there's something more to it. There has to be something more to it. Why? Because Microsoft are greedy pieces of shit. Greedy pieces of shit. Same thing with Nintendo. What the fuck's up with Nintendo? First off, you know what? Nintendo, you've been fucking up too. First off, this Wii U is garbage as shit. This Wii U is a fucking joke. Your control is a giant fucking Game Gear. Okay? And then... You too? You're, you're, you're not accepting any applications or not allowing anyone to develop indie games for the Wii U? Suck a fucking dick, Nintendo. Your games fucking suck, first off. You release the same fucking shit every generation and your stupid consumers buy the shit. How many fucking times are you Nintendo fucking idiots going to buy Mario Kart? I played Mario Kart back in 1990-something. And then I played the Wii version. It was the same fucking game. Now you're gonna be like, oh no, well you know, Xbox got Halo and, and, and more Halo and Gears of War and Forza. Yeah, but at least all those games are different from each other. Even Call of Duty tries to differentiate itself this, you know, each year from the previous Call of Duty. And same thing with Sony. Sony has older IPs and new IPs. Same thing with Microsoft, older IPs and new IPs. And they make continuous versions of them. But at least they all get upgrades. No, 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 no. And the Nintendo doesn't do that. No. They give you the same Nintendo fucking Star Fox, Zelda, fucking Mario bullshit, they give them HD upgrades and they call them a new game. Then, these games that are nothing new at all, except visual upgrades, Dude, you're playing the same game over and over for every, you know, every year these games come out, you buy them. You've been buying the same Mario Kart game that is on your goddamn Mario Kart Nintendo cartridge for years. And you bought it again just because it says Wii U on it. 
Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are stupid. Some of you guys are stupid. Some of you guys are stupid. I like Shokyo. He may be a Nintendo fanboy, but I like Shokyo. He's funny. He makes me laugh. Black power. But, uh... I have a problem with Nintendo. They don't seem to give a shit about the consumer either. And now the consumer is actually speaking with the wallets. See, the Wii U is selling horrendously. Why? Because it's a piece of shit. The Wii U under the hood is a fucking Wii with like 250 megabytes more of memory. What in the shit is with the Game Boy fucking controller? What in the shit is with the rehash games? And what is in the fucking blue mighty fucking Jesus Christ hell is with the fact that the Wii U just fucking sucks. I'm not trying to hate. I used to love Nintendo. Matter of fact, I still think Nintendo makes the best handheld console around. The Game Boy. The Game Boy is fucking awesome. I love the Game Boy. I have every fucking game, but up until the, the fucking three, you know, the, the DS. I don't got a three D. I don't got a three DS. I have zero interest in it. But for years, 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 I played the goddamn Game Boy. I fucking loved it growing up. It was my fucking thing. I'll be in school like, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. That was me. That was me. But. Over the years, after the GameCube, after the glorious GameCube, it just went downhill. Like, the Wii sucks. So now it's like the tides have completely turned. Sony went from last place with the whole underdog status thing going on to beyond first place. Microsoft is like, this is Sony. This is Microsoft. Further away. And the, the Wii U is like back there because they can't even sell a million units in a few months. As with a PS3 and Xbox continually sell millions and the fucking Wii U, the, the latest console, can't even sell 100,000 in a fucking month or two. That's horrendous. With the reputation that Nintendo has, it's embarrassing, Nintendo, that you can't even fucking sell 100,000 units worldwide in a month. What the almighty blue fuck shit is that? So yes, my random video random shit. How do you feel about Nintendo's gayness? How do you feel about Microsoft's, you know, all of a sudden doing a 360 and being pro gamer? How do you feel about the almighty PS4 and its continued greatness? Comment in this comment section below. Drink salute. Does the body good? Does the body, you know, good for the heart, good for the soul, Calvin Klein. If there's a video you'd like me to discuss, a trailer, an article, whatever, send me a PM on YouTube, email on Facebook, I'll give a YouTube channel a shout out if I agree to make a video about what you sent me. The video, I'll leave a link to your, to your channel in the video description below. And I'll catch you guys next video. Deuces, you're all fucking gay. And, uh, I don't know. I'm bored. I feel like playing something. I don't know what to play though. I ain't one of those gamers block. I'm just like, I have so many games to play. Because I, I have a PC. I don't know what to play though. Yeah. It's tragic. It's tragic.